Good evening. Welcome to Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community. The news you can trust and events that move and celebrate our very own South Asian community. I'm Nidhi Kathuria coming to you from our ITV Gold Studio in New Jersey. In the news from community today, Dharmic Organizations of the United States presents Darshana, a nationwide traveling exhibition. Dhun Musical Group USA organizes a fundraising concert for building a new temple community hall. Meet and greet with Indian actor and singer Jasbir Jassi at the India Fair. In the news from Indian films, OTT and other entertainment, watch the official trailer for Mr. Malcolm's List starring Freda Pinto. Stay with us on Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community for news and detail right after this short break. The mission of the Dharmic Organizations of the United States is to promote philanthropic giving for creating academic and intellectual infrastructure for the systematic study of dharma its interpretation and application in modern contexts in formal academic settings. People of different ethnicities get to know about their fellow Hindu Americans through a nationwide traveling exhibition called Darshana. Let's watch the highlights of Darshana that took place on May 20th at Morris County Library in Whippany, New Jersey. Namaste, my name is Mitesh Trivedi and I am from an organization called Hindu Service Society. It, in short, it is called HSS. And what we are doing is we are conducting uh, an exhibition called uh, Darshana. And the main reason behind that is uh, we want to share our rich Hindu tradition and culture to the American uh, you know, people over here. We want to share with them how rich it is, right? Uh, and you know, this is a moving, trailer, moving exhibit. We are we are right now in uh, Morris County Library, and we are going to move around the whole whole of the nation. Actually, this is happening across the nation, and uh, we want to go there and we want to reach out to the people. Thank you so much. We Namaste. are here right now at the Morris County Library, where there is an exhibit with many partners in the community on um, the rich history of Hinduism and India. And I just went through the exhibits, and it was really uh, it was enlightening. Um, it was great to see, and it's something that I hope people throughout our community will take advantage of. Oh, I loved it today. Thank you for the education. I really enjoyed it, and I will be thinking about this for a long time. Sheriff Jim Gannon. I'm the Sheriff of Morris County and I'm the peacekeeper in the law. Uh, it's so great uh, to be here for Dashana uh, to, uh, to celebrate, to celebrate culture and celebrate people and celebrate family. And uh, we had great discussions here today over diversity and inclusion. Uh, so very important. You know, I was speaking uh, before about uh, rec uh, recruitment recruitment into uh, the police positions and sheriff's positions. And we're always looking to recruit people in a different culture and language and, and those types of things. So it's really my honor to be here as the sheriff. Uh, made some new friends today, right? And Grateful to be invited and learn so much from you guys and um, just kind of get to know a little bit about the, the Hindu community that is very large within Morris County, but not talked about. Um, very much. Um, so it was just great to build relationships and kind of um, bridge some gaps and uh, just to get, get to know you guys and hopefully we can uh, do something else together um, somewhere around the county and um, just to keep, that, keep the dialogue open and um, uh, just keep that re relationship building and just keep talking. But uh, yeah, that, that's it and th thank you guys. Thank you for having us. This was great. <laughs> you know, uh, Hinduism and Hindu culture and, and 
it was it was great that presentation was so rich your culture is so rich your people are so rich in in culture and i am so glad to be here and i am your friend and whatever you need and whenever you need i will be there for you again my name is typhoon salan morris county commissioner director thank you very much and congratulations on this great 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 exhibition thank you i think it was the different phases of the yoga different phases the, yeah the i think yoga. it was, was there eight phases of the yoga right that that's the one that touched my heart i done yoga i think it's a very um spiritual thing and i think life is very important balance is very important in life and that was a big lesson i learned in there too in your culture how important balance is and everything so balance it was is, great yeah. it was uh, a very educational experience um and you know having studied a little bit about hindu culture when i was in college we now have students um who are hindu and it's very challenging for us to be able to support them and their families not having a true understanding of the culture so it'll be really helpful for us to now take this information back teach our teachers and empower them to make our families feel a lot more welcome and included in our schools. <laughs> it was wonderful. It was very nice to feel that it was a place that was safe to ask questions and to learn and to allow our students to allow our, ourselves to be educated in a way where we can educate our staff on how to correctly put things into the curriculum because it's always with good intentions, but students and teachers, they just don't know. So the more we can give the knowledge, the more we'd be able to do this because our students deserve to be seen, and that is our goal. Oh, oh one, it's absolutely beautiful, and it was uh, a wonderful journey and, and how everyone was so warm and hospitable bringing me through it. So it reminds me of how we are, we are to journey this life together and there is a purpose for all of us um, so not to worry you just follow your calling I think that would be wonderful message to each to all the children it would be the divinity purpose uh, sorry see I there it was purpose <laughs> divinity and purpose uh, the divinity purpose for sure poster for sure <laughs> oh wow I didn't really it was just such a fabulous event um, and you uh, you covered all the the basics right there's 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 food and friendship and fellowship, uh, and what a colorful display, wonderful for your eyes and your mind to take in. So, um, and I just want to thank you for being here at the Morris County Library, at the, the hub of Morris County. So, um, all, all good things. <laughs> thank you for having me. Oh, you made it so easy. I fortunately missed the one in Parsippany, which I'm the Parsippany Police Community Relations Officer. So fortunately, I was able to attend today. And I, I have to say, I've been the community officer in Parsippany since 2013. Uh, I'm the religious liaison to the community. I'm, I deal with the corporate uh, uh, area, the neighborhood association members, the uh, senior citizens and all that stuff. This has always been something that I really wanted to do is, is learn more about you know, a very predominant uh, demographic in our town, right? So uh, the fact that I'm able to come here and literally, literally get explained step by step of how Hinduism came about and just the entire religion and not just religion, but also how it explains a lot culturally, you know, um, which I think is so important because it breaks down any kind of barriers. It bridges a gap that is so needed in, a, in our community, right? Tune Musical Group USA takes pride in identifying, developing, and providing a platform to deserving talent. Shame Dhun was the musical concert organized by Tune Musical Group at Toms River, New Jersey on May 21st as a part of the fundraising concert for Lord Tree Siddhivinayak Temple USA. Parikh Worldwide Media and ITV Gold were the proud sponsors of the event.
yourself into that song and that performance. That's what came through. That right, is everybody? true. That is true. And I know from just listening because you know I have very minimal knowledge of singing, but I do know that when these singers sing, you cannot tell what is their mother tongue. You cannot tell. You know what what they speak in daily lives because they just imbibe the music in them yeah. and that <laughs> Siddhi Vinayak uh, to all the uh, viewer of uh, ITV TV, uh, Gold. Uh, today uh, on uh, May 21st, uh, Siddhi Vinayak Temple is having our uh, annual fundraising event and we are fortunate to have Dun Musical Group with us uh, for a wonderful uh, musical evening. We want to thank uh, Dun Musical Group for supporting the Siddhi Vinayak Temple. We also want to thank all the uh, sponsors uh, who made uh, this event possible. And once again, ITV Gold, thank you for um, promoting uh, our, uh, our program. And uh, Jai Sri Siddhi Vinayak to all ITV Gold viewers. And we are so fortunate to have them here Siddhi Vinayak Temple, this is our annual fundraising event and Dun Musical Group has been always there to help us, to support us. So on behalf of Siddhi Vinayak Temple, I want to thank Dun Musical Group. Guru, sorry. Please give them a big hand of applause. India Fair has been recognized as one of the biggest South Asian events in the USA, providing great opportunities for businesses to promote their products to a large and highly relevant South Asian audience. The highlights of this year's India Fair held on May 21st and 22nd at New Jersey Convention and Expo Center in Edison, New Jersey, included meet and greet with Bollywood star and singer Jasbir Jassi, Bollywood dancers, live performances, shopping, Indian food, and free giveaways. Let's watch the highlights.
so much, Osna, and thank you, ITV Gold, for coming out and supporting this event. And I want to thank everybody. This is the first big event happening post-COVID. You know, everybody would agree our whole lives have changed. You know, we have been doing India Fair for 15 years, and we have been bringing Bollywood and Indian entertainment here for the past, you know, 15 years. And uh, now we're starting back into events. And uh, we had a great two-day mega India Fair, and uh, we had uh, nice performances. We had uh, uh, celebrities, guests of honors, you know, meet and greet. And uh, I especially want to thank our sponsors who made this event possible. Hello, everyone, and a very good evening to all the viewers of ITV. Uh, we are at the India Fair today, where uh, I'm honored to be one of the judges among my beautiful ladies, Devya Singh and Sarga Kansara as well. And uh, uh, beautiful performances so far. Uh, I think, I believe there were like 10 to 12 performances with kids, juniors and seniors. And uh, everybody did a phenomenal job. For me, everybody's a winner. Once you are at the stage, you are a winner for me. But again, you know, there is little nitty degrees, which of course we're gonna take care of as judges, which we are doing our job as well. <laughs> This is Sarika Kansara. I'm judge here at the India Fair. I would like to thank uh, Arunji, uh, Rajesh ji, and entire family of Anand family uh, for giving me this opportunity to judge the uh, talent show. And uh, they are doing a great job. Uh, we have so much talent in the US. So thank you so much for giving such a great platform to all the artists. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Divya Singh and I'm honored and privileged to be one of the judges at India Fair. I'm, I'm sharing the forum with Anarji and Sarika Sharma. So three of us have done, you know, the judging for this talent show. I want to thank Arun Anandji and family, uh, you know, Rajesh Anandji, Priyanka, Dimple and the entire family for having this, uh, you know, giving us this platform. Hi, we're part of Andrella's Bharanatyam team. And we're here for the India Day Fair. We're going to be doing our rendition of Dilana, and we're very excited to show you. So stay tuned to see us perform. Namaskar. Uh, thank you for having me, Shraddha Pandit, as the guest of honor for India Fair. Chote chote bacho ko yahan par dekh kar perform karte hue, aur itna acha unhone they put up a great show together. So uh, I was really really excited uh, because you know it means a lot for these kids to give them so much of encouragement. And uh, I thank Arunji for making this happen for India Fair and these lovely kids for doing so well. And uh, well, all I can say is keep doing this for uh, Indians and uh, our fellow human beings and our fellow people because they need the, a platform, they need a stage to come up in life and giving them that is like really, really uh, a great, great deed. So um, all the best for all the other upcoming events, all of you, and thank you for having me on. I'm When she fails to meet an item on his list of requirements for a bride, Julia Thistlewaist is jilted by London's most eligible bachelor, Mr. Malcolm. Feeling humiliated and determined to exact revenge, she convinces her friend Selena Dalton, played by Freda Pinto, to play the role of his deal match. Soon, Mr. Malcolm wonders whether he's found the perfect woman or the perfect hoax. Watch the trailer of Mr. Malcolm hitting the theatres on July 1st. Mr. Malcolm, there's someone I want to introduce you to. Miss Selena Dalton. I'm very pleased to make your acquaintance. Perhaps you might join me for a tour of the picture gallery. Most certainly have a reputation. Is that the famous Mr. Malcolm? Do you know him? And do you believe this description of me? He was very impressed by her wit and humor. I must be nearsighted. May I assist? Selena, it is working. Why did you come to London, Miss Dalton? Because I was lonely. I was lonely too before you came. Your list is a shield. You did not want to give your heart to a woman unworthy. 
It gives us hope, and hope is a good thing. Perhaps I am mistaken in thinking hope a useless thing. You're being blinded by his intelligent conversation and devastatingly handsome good looks. You thought to humiliate Malcolm, and you end up presenting him with the perfect wife, and that must sting. Wish me luck, old boy. I don't think you'll make it. It is time to show Malcolm your list. I do not think Mr. Malcolm is the man you think he is. Seems you have been deceiving me from the beginning. Love cannot be planned so carefully. It will stir things up a bit. That is part of its charm. Continuing with the news on entertainment on ITV Gold, enjoy Vicky Kaushal's Uri in the family movie night this Friday at 8.30 p.m. EST. Saturday 1 p.m. EST, reserve with the superstars and watch Diljeet Dosanjh in Suraj Pe Mangal Bhari. Reserve your Sunday at 3 p.m. EST for Ajay Devgan's blockbuster action film Pool or Kante. And that's a wrap on Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community tonight. Send us your suggestions and community news that you would like us to cover for our print and television coverage at events at itvgold.com. Follow us on our Facebook handle at ITV Gold, subscribe to our YouTube channel and pick up a free copy of Desi Talk if you're in the tri-state or in the Chicago area for community news, entertainment and events in US and India. You can also read the News India Times newspaper online at www.newsindiatimes.com or subscribe to the hard copy by calling 212-675-7515. This is Nadi Kathuria signing off.